and that's one thing I forgot to do in the last episode. Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Diminished Cap. In this episode, we will be finishing off all the side quests, and beginning the third temple in the game. So we're definitely making a bit of progress. And in case you're wondering what I was doing back there, in the last episode, I forgot to do this thing where we may have fused kinstones with Diminished in the blue house, but we needed to do it twice, so I needed to go back out and then re-enter it. I was unaware of that though, so I had to do it, you know, off screen or something. But luckily I recorded it, because we're going to need it in a minute actually. Although one thing we want to do for now is this. With the ability to swim and all, we will now be able to access new areas in Castle Wilds. So we want to head all the way up to the top. And not this way, because this appears to be the wrong way. So I need to make my way around there nice and quickly. Again, on this area I would just say recommend following the bridges because they will lead you to areas that you'll recognise and all that. And also make sure you have all the boulders pushed in because that will make your life a whole lot easier. Definitely. Although in here we're going to find this. A cave and a waterfall. The waterfall appeared when we um, fused kingstones with other people and pretty much this is a place where we get a heart piece. And it's quite a tricky puzzle if you don't know what to do. But if you'll notice, you'll push these things and I'll make like these noises and push towards the heart. And all of them do this except for one of them. And that's the key to solving this puzzle. Because if I push this one, it's not going to do anything. So pretty much, you know, all the other ones will just push the other way. But I'll have to redo it because I just wanted to show that you guys that in case you're unsure what to do. So since we know that this can't be pushed this way, how about we push these two, and then push this upwards. And that's pretty much how you do the puzzle. It's not really common sense if you ask me, I mean I wouldn't have known that first go, but I find it a really clever idea. In here though, we will find another one of Swayblade's ancestors or something. His name is Scarblade, just to let you know. And from when I get new moves and all that, I'm just going to skip ahead through the dialogue because they're basically saying the same thing, you know. And with this one, we're not actually going to be demonstrating it or anything because it's basically an upgrade. It's the thing that spe speeds up our great spin attack charge. So pretty much all it does is it charges up faster. It's nothing big, but it's definitely a bit more handy, I guess. One thing we want to do now is this, we want to drop down a couple of holes as a minish, and I've got to wait for the lily pad to come back, great. Although it doesn't really take that long, so I'm okay with it. And here it comes. Because pretty much all we're going to do here is drop down holes and grab stuff like mysterious shells in Kingstone. This is pretty much all side quests are, you know, if you play minish cap. It's mainly just Kingstones, mysterious shells, and pieces of heart. And if you ask me, I don't really get why people bash the idea of Kingstone Fusions, because I honestly like it, it makes the game a bit longer. Much like, you know, collecting masks in Majora's Mask. Because nobody seemed to complain about that. I just don't see why people hate Kingstone Fusions. I mean, I enjoy doing it with people and all that. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, if you don't like this game, fair enough, but... I just don't get, you know, what's to hate with Kingstone Fusions. And that's the reason why I needed to fuse Kingstones with uh, the blue Minish back there, because otherwise the lily pad would have gone, and we wouldn't have been able to access it. If we go through this hole, we will be able to access most of uh, Castor Wilds, and this time, we can swim around. So how about we explore the place and see where we can go. Ooh, there appears to be a place where we can swim, because there will be a hole up here. And let's see where it leads to. If I can get in, that is. There will basically be this place where you get given these areas to go. And I think if you take the furthest one, you'll get leaded to an item. Yes. And good thing I did that, because we get a red kingstone. Very rare. And basically, you know, it's just trial and error on this bit. Just try places. And you're not actually going to die. Well, unless you fall down one of the holes and all that. But still. I want to stun these guys with my boomerang, because it makes it a bit easier. And it especially makes it easier with the magical boomerang, because I can control where it's going. And on this bit, I think it's the center we need to do. Let me check. Okay, so I think it's this, and then it's left. Maybe right. Oh, we're making some good progress. Hopefully I will not screw this up, because that would be really embarrassing. Because every time you exit out the room and re-enter it, 
the um, enemies respawn, which is quite annoying. So let's just push this one, this one, and indeed we will find a piece of heart. So we've completed another heart container. Now we have 13. Like I said, we're going to be collecting a lot of heart pieces in this side quest, definitely. As a menish, we want to now enter this hole down here and fuse kingstones with this minish. But first I want to grab a red kingstone from his house without permission. Seriously, Link can just steal anything he wants. He's very... He's very mean, actually, most of the time. Although in this game he's quite generous, because, I mean, like I said, we've been, you know, selling books, uh, helping people out, delivering chickens, saving chickens, you know, doing Kingston fusions. Link's a bit more generous this time around. But basically all that happens here is this beanstalk appears, and we have to make our way to it. So, let's begin climbing and see what is at the top of the beanstalk. With really good depth perception. Better that again. And what we're going to find is a really useful item if you're finding your arrows a bit low. We're going to find a bigger large quiver. Now you can carry more arrows. So if I pause it, we now carry up to a maximum of 70 arrows. Seriously, 70. That is a massive amount of arrows. So it's definitely going to make my life a bit easier throughout this LP. Now that we're in South Hyrule Field, we want to go over to this area that I haven't quite gone to yet. I could have done, but it's pointless because there's not much we can do. And we want to fuse Kingstones with a Minish in South Hyrule. But first of all, you know, I had to poke that tree to get the Minish portal. It's funny how Link's not actually talking to them, he's just walking into the house and saying, Hey, you want to fuse Kingstones? And it's like, oh yeah, sure. I don't know you, but we'll do it. I don't know. NPCs again. What we're going to get here actually is optional, just like before. Instead, all this is going to be is uh, Syrup the Witch is going to make a special potion for us. I'll probably share that in a bonus video or so though, because I haven't actually used it yet as I've beaten the game without it. That's what I'm planning to do for this LP actually. The actual walkthrough is going to be me playing it with how I did when I first played through it, so now but you know I'm going to miss out on all the stuff like special bottles that give you invincibility and all that, and show off what they do in the bonus video. I also want to show you that, you know, you don't really have to have it in order to complete the game and all that. But well, you may have noticed there that there's like a small path that's quite small. Right, that couldn't have been said any better. You want to be a minish, and adventure down for it to- whoa! I've actually never seen that, Minish Link actually just jumped from the cliff, that was very disturbing. It wasn't really disturbing as such, just weird. And we want to go in here because we will find another heart container. Seriously, they were just going overload on how many heart containers we can get with the flippers. I love it. Now that we're in Trilby Highlands though, we want to make our way to the Western Wood and do a certain thing. But I already know what it is, so I don't really want to give it away as such. I mean... I'm not going to say what I've said throughout the rest of my LP, I'll tell ya. There will be this Minish house here, and this is probably a Kingstone Fusion that will make something happen which is very local. Literally, it's right next to us. After we fuse Kingstones with this Minish, this will happen. It will cause a Beanstalk to spawn, but look right next to us. Seriously, it's just right next to that tree. <laughs> or bush, as I say. But still, it's just really local. We could just go out, resize ourselves, and there it is. We got it. So, good for me, because I don't have to do any editing on this bit. So, how about we resize ourselves? It's kind of hard to say that. Try saying resize yourselves five times fast or something, and climb the mountain. I have no idea why I said that. And up here we will find 830... No, what am I doing? I'm reading the rupee counter there. Basically, a lot of 20 rupees. Uh, do I or don't I? Because I'm going to reach the maximum 999. I know, I'll go for it. <laughs> Let's just collect all of them as a waste. And on top of that, we get a red kingstone. So again, if you find a beanstalk, climb up it. Because you're going to get a lot of goodies. That's for sure. Our next destination is in Lake Hillia, and we want to fuse Kingstones again. <laughs> With this Minish that we talked to 
you know, the one that allowed us to go to the library and all that. So, let's see what happens. There's not much to talk about here at all. And of course with that, basically we want to make ourselves to Western Woods. Back we go again. Okay, let's see what's inside. A piece of heart! <laughs> so again, you know, just Kingstone Fusion, they will lead you to mostly piece of hearts. Especially when you get around to this part of the game. However, with that, we now want to go to North Hyrule Field. And it's kind of pointless with me editing it because, I mean, well, we're near it. We're self Hyrule Field and all I have to do is just roll the way up there and all that. Now, I mean, I'm going to do one thing, but I'm going to do this at the end. You know before, when I did the other side quests, before entering Fortress of Winds, there was this bloke that was like a monk inside a house, or shall I say a yellow house, and, oh, where's the postman going? He wouldn't really allow us to fuse kingstones with him, so I'm going to be doing that um, side quest in a bit, I reckon. Although for now, what we want to do is go over to this area which we are about to access, and that is... After I bomb this boulders out of the way, with 50 bombs, very good, instead of 10, just like my first playthrough, to the Vale Falls, and over here there will be this door, wow, look at the size of that waterfall, beautiful, simply beautiful, my boy, um, yeah, indeed, and as you can see, it's golden, and you know where I said, but why is it that place, isn't that supposed to be in the centre, okay, that's really weird, maybe I haven't noticed it, but it's golden, so that means, you know, it's needed for the game. You need to find the other golden piece in order to make progress through there. But that'll be a little bit later in the game, so you can't do that for the moment. And indeed, we find another piece of heart. Ugh, great, we're just doing well with piece of heart, I tell you. Going back to the place, though, that, um, where we used the cane of Paki and got the piece of heart, you know, where we went to the Falls. We can now access a new area since we can swim. I appear to be having an interruption on every episode, but simply since we can swim around, let's just explore the area and not get caught by the rupee like we do not want that to happen. And basically just look around, because I think we're going to come up to a moment cave in a minute. Indeed we are, so how about we have a look around again? I do not want to get caught by the rupee like. Seriously, anytime you just come across a rupee like, I'd advise just staying away and slashing as much as you can. You may have your other way to defeat it, but that's what I'd suggest if you're having a bit of difficulty. And I'm just going to cut ahead for a moment in this area because you guys are probably getting bored watching this. Well, actually, no, you know what? It's really short. So instead of just spending my time momenting around and all that, I am not going to cut ahead and just dig around in the place. Because, I mean, look, it's a short area. I mean, like I said, I'm not really going to cut stuff out if it's a small area like this that doesn't really cover up a lot of the map. We're going here, we're going to find uh, 50 rupees and 50 mysterious shells. We're definitely doing well with mysterious shells. If I hit the maximum 999, though, that's going to be a little bit bad. So let's just try, um, do we need to go anywhere at the moment? Because I think this is everything in Vale Falls. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, and that's another thing I forgot to mention. With the Molmits, if you press the, you know, the button with which the Molmits are on, you can dig stuff up. And yeah. There's also this other thing I want to show off, which is a secret, but since we're mainly getting side quests done, I'll shut it off, like, another time or something, I guess. And we are coming up to the final side quests to do, meaning we're in the final destination, really, which is Lake Hillia, and there are a whole bunch of things we can do in here. For a start, we dive down here, we will find a piece of heart. In my, when I first played the game, though, I found that by accident. I honestly didn't mean to come across it and all that. But even so, it was very good finding it and all that, because I mean, well, it is a heart piece and they increase your health and all that. How can you not like that? So if we keep swimming, we will find another piece of heart. <laughs> Again, you know, it's just a lot of stuff going on and all that. Although pretty much, since we're able to swim, we will now be able to access this new area in Minish Woods. Because if we swim, you see this Minish hole, when we go through, we will be back in Minish Woods. 
and this is the area that we went to before, you know, at the very beginning of the game. And as a Minish, we can now access it. So, I like how they do backtracking in Minish Cap, but just, you know, in a new way. Like, you know when you grab a new item and then you make your way all the way back? Instead, it's like a completely new mechanic, where we shrink down, then we access areas that we saw before. I swear, it's like God doesn't want me to finish this LP. But if we just continue going across here with the ice physics, we will come across a chest that will contain... Why I Oh my goodness me! <laughs> okay, this, I guess this is one thing to come back to after having an interruption. I'm gonna get hit, aren't I? Yes, I am, but still, that was just perfect timing. Like, I just grabbed the Kingstone just as the Slugula was about to touch me. Wow. And now that we've returned back to normal human size, the last, final thing we want to do is... Push the boulder. <laughs> okay, now that's just one thing that will make it a bit easier getting back here. But there'll be that tree with a hole that you notice back there. So let's go inside and see what we got. Okay, for a start we got another piece of heart. Great. Now all we need to do is collect two more and we got 15 of them. Seriously, how many of them do they give us? Just ridiculous. But in a good way. I mean, getting all this stuff will make it a lot easier. With this new technique he's going to teach us, however, it's called the Peril Beam. And basically all it does is uh, when we're low on hearts down to our last heart, we can shoot this beam to save us a bit of time. So now we're going to try it ourselves. What it'll do is it'll decrease our hearts down to like our last health, because that's really nice. And you just press the attack button and you'll shoot this beam. Pretty much it's quite simple, you know, it's, I can't, don't see how you can forget it, because you're likely to swing your sword if you're on your last heart. To be generous though, he fills them up by four, so that helps us a lot. That is all the side quests though that we can do for now, so I reckon we're going to end things off here in the Minish Cap. In the next episode of the Minish Cap, we will be starting the next temple, which is... The Temple of Droplets. See you guys then.